it's fair to say it's a chilly one. Yeah, it's chilly all right and a far cry from where we were just a few days ago in California. It was minus seven here at Carden Park this morning. Anyway, we're all warmed up and we're ready to go in what was a real interesting video for a lot of average golfers out there. So a lot of what I try to do on this channel is uh, make the game as easy as possible by looking at clubs that, uh, well, are perhaps more forgiving than others. I think that's a simplistic way of putting it. And in my hands, I have two clubs which I feel are very, very playable, but they're also very, very different. And what I wanna try and do in today's video is establish those differences and uh, then define which one might suit which player and which may not. So what are the two clubs in question? Well, they are a driving hybrid from TaylorMade's range of stealth, and they are a hybrid from Tor Edge. So first of all, what is different about these two products? Well, the main one being their head shape and profile, and each of them is gonna to appeal to a different type of golfer. One is predominantly more iron looking, and the other, like I say, is a straight up hybrid. And straight away, there's already a divide between who likes what at address. The thing they have in common is they've got exactly the same loft. And what I want to find out is what happens in terms of performance when you have exactly the same loft, different head types, do they go different distances, do they launch the ball in a different way, do they get from A to B in different ways, and like I said, which one is perhaps more easy to play and which one would suit which player. So they are in fact two 5-iron equivalents, there's a 5DHY and there's the 5 hybrid. They both have 25 degrees of loft. Now the first thing to say about the loft is I think it's a really friendly loft. And what I mean by that is when you start to get into that 21 degrees and downwards, the game gets incredibly difficult. So three hybrids, three irons, four irons, I've been a great advocate of sort of staying away from them if you can and using more lofted types of clubs to cover that long end in the bag. So they both do very well in that respect. But like I said, they are gonna get the ball there in a different way, at least I think it will. The first question I have for you, which of these two head style profiles would you prefer? Now, regular viewers of the channel will be well aware that I'm pretty much a fan of both clubs, to be honest with you, but I would say that for me personally, I'm a fan of this DHY simply because I prefer playing irons than I do hybrids. And again, I think that a lot of you out there will have a very much similar opinion in terms of it's very straightforward. You either like long irons or you like hybrids. It's one or the other. But a quick look back at that address position and it's very, very different indeed. The one thing I'll say about the DHY is that if I was comparing a five iron to a five hybrid, as in a straightforward type of five iron, then I'll be choosing a five hybrid. What I like about this driving hybrid, it's got a bit of bulk on that back end, a bit of meat to it, and it just gives me that extra bit of confidence. I've been playing this club in the bag for the past sort of, I would say three, four months, maybe a little bit longer. It's super good off the tee, super versatile from the fairway, from the rough, and uh, it's got plenty of help and assistance in there. Graphite shaft in these things, and uh, they just go, first of all, extremely high in terms of their ball flight, but in terms of distance carried, really decent. Spin number is right up there with the equivalent of my five iron or iron in the bag. So they do all the things that my long iron does, just make it a little bit easier to get there in terms of that forgiveness and launch elements. So really positive personally towards the DHY. But then I've also, this is a Tor Edge, I think I mentioned that earlier on, it's a Tor Edge 5 hybrid. I'm a huge fan of lofted hybrids and lofted fairway woods. I've sort of put that message across all year and I know lots of you have gone out and bought the uh, sort of similar type of clubs and uh, the message that I've got is equally as positive. This is a different story altogether. For me, what it does, that bulk and mass, it's gonna give perhaps more confidence to more golfers. The fact that it's got 25 degrees worth of loft on a hybrid means that you're seeing plenty of that loft. And what that does to me is it kind of already says to me that this club is gonna pick the ball up for me. The minute you start to see a club de-loft and the flatter that face becomes or less lofted it becomes, the more negative the mindset gets, or maybe that's just me. Now again, the Tor Edge version, it doesn't really matter, but this is what we're using for this test is a real, real good product. Again, you'll see my eye line is very much looking up on the two strikes. If I'm honest with you, I mean, I'll check the data in a minute. 
There wasn't a great deal to split them visually in terms of their launch angle, went up there very, very similar. I don't know obviously about spin and carry distance, but like I said, really positive to both of these type and styles of clubs. It really does depend on uh, what appeals to you at that address position, I think. Same amount of versatility though, I suppose, in a five hybrid as there is in the DHY. You'd be more than happy playing this from the rough. You'd play it from the tee. You'd, you'd play it from perhaps even around the green where uh, with that loft on it, it's quite easy to just pop the ball up. But they're the kind of club that is really enjoyable to hit, hence the reason why I decided to have another pop at it. And they're the confidence clubs in the bag. And they're the type of clubs, again, that the other options out there long irons being that main uh, sort of switch over they would frighten a lot of golfers to death these are without doubt in that category of making golf that little bit easier now the point to mention at this stage is that my own sort of five iron distance is probably around that sort of 175 that would be my average sort of carry distance that i'd be looking at and again you'll often note that the spin numbers on my irons are often quite low really so if i was getting anything near sort of 4,000 revs of spin on my five iron, then I'd be really pleased with that kind of number. The main difference also being is the kind of ball flight that I'd be expecting in terms of launch. So again, a five iron would probably drop in down to that sort of maybe 18 degrees worth of launch. These are all the things that you need to consider when you're going out to potentially buy one of these clubs because the mistake that I often guard against and, and try and uh, advise people is don't just look at the degrees, in, don't just look at the loft because that can be very misguided. Loft, I mean, obviously shaft length can make a difference, but what I've seen from all the testing that I've done is loft is only one of the things that has an input on how your ball gets from A to B. And uh, that obviously impacts on carry distance. And like I said, it can be very, very different from club to club. So I know what my five iron numbers are. Now I wanna see what my five DHY numbers are, what my five hybrid numbers are, and which is perhaps best suitable for me, and then you can make your own decisions. Right, I'm gonna go straight into the data. We'll keep this one short and sweet. This whole little sort of mini series, if you like, is comparing these types of clubs and giving you some straightforward answers if we can. See if we can separate them both. The only thing perhaps finally to mention is that the five hybrid has got half inch longer shafts, so we'd expect a little bit more distance from that perhaps. Anyway, the numbers. Um, 21, first of all, for the five hybrid. Launching 21.2. So much higher launching than my standard five iron. A spin number of 4099. These are averages, don't forget. So again, right up there with where I'd expect my spin on my equivalent five iron to be. Uh, peak height of 34 and a carry distance of 172. I mentioned that my carry distance is kind of 175 on a five iron. It's pretty much done carry distance exactly where I'd expect it to be. It's launched it a lot higher than my five iron would do. And the spin number is really good. I'm more than happy with every parameter in terms of that data when I compare it to my standard five iron. So I'd happily take the five iron out of the bag and play with the five hybrid. You then go into the DHY. Slightly lower and only slightly lower in terms of launch angle, 20.7. The spin number drops off to 3025. Some would consider that to be perhaps a problem. Peak height is 32. I just want to look at descent angle though as well. I didn't mention it on the uh, five hybrid, but a descent angle of 43.4 coupled with that spin number of 3000 to me is still a great set of numbers when paired together. Now that's got a carry distance of 179. But it's really interesting. If you look at the ball speed as well, ball speed is absolutely identical. So the things that have changed in terms of the carry distance are obviously the launch angle and the spin number have impacted on how the ball or the distance, total distance, the ball has carried. So to me, the seven yard difference in carry, well, that's very explainable. They're almost identical in many ways in terms of the performance, but there is without doubt a difference. And what you've got to recognize is what that difference is and which one is more suited to your game and then which one is more suited to the gap that you're looking to fill in your bag. Then it's that final decision which goes back to the beginning of the video, which is at address which one of these two club types in terms of their head profile gives you the most confidence to execute a shot. So, like I said, short and sweet. We aren't gonna waffle on anymore. There's the data. 
there's a clear divide between these two clubs in a number of different ways even though the loft is identical on the both of them the number on the both of them is a five but they do things very very differently in terms of performance right that's me done i'm on to another one of these videos which is of a similar nature i hope you're enjoying the videos we've been putting up of late it's a little bit cold you can still see the steam coming out of my breath as i'm speaking or at least i can anyway so i'm not gonna hang around too long i'm gonna get into the next video and i'll see you all very soon